Hey guys, RedRapids there, and today I'm going to show you how you can fix the issue of USB communication issue detected in the Elgato 4K Capture Utility software. So at the minute I have a HD60S Plus plugged in, and if I go to settings, as you can see it doesn't give me that many, as there is a USB communication problem. Now the most likely cause of this is that your capture card has not been able to negotiate a USB 3.0 link speed, and has gone to a slower speed, and now with the HD60S and newer devices being UVC, they need the full bandwidth to be able to send both the audio and the video. So the best way to diagnose this is to come to this link here, the link will be in the description, where you can download USB Device Tree Viewer. So if I click download here, and then I download the latest x64 release, and then I'll go to my downloads, and then I will just go inside of it, I will then extract the application. So if I now open up the USB Tree Viewer, and I'll just make it a bit bigger for you, so as you can see in the list of devices, you should be able to see your capture card. Now if you can't see your capture card in the list, if you unplug and replug it, it should then show up as green for a few seconds, as USB Device Tree Viewer will show the devices that are recently plugged in in green. So I'll just show you what that looks like in case you need to. So I'm just going to unplug my capture card, and then I'll plug it back in. And then we'll give it a few seconds to detect, and as you can see it highlights it in green as it's recently just been plugged in. So if we click on the part for the Elgato, if you then look under the summary section, you should be able to see where it says USB version. Now as you can see, it's currently only managed to negotiate a USB 2.1 speed, which is not enough to be able to work properly, it needs to be 3.0 or higher. So the first thing you want to check is that you have your Elgato plugged into a USB 3.0 or higher port. And if you look at the USB root up here, you can see it is the hub on my machine for USB 3.0. Now you also want to make sure that you don't have too many devices plugged in on USB where it could be overwhelming it, as the capture card will use quite a lot. I would recommend you unplug everything that you can just to narrow down the causes. So once you've made sure you have it in a USB 3.0 port and you don't have any other high usage devices plugged in, if it's still not working for you, you're then going to need to look at the actual cable that's been used. So in my case, it appears that the cable Cable that I have does not work on USB 3.0 speeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change over to a higher rated cable that is able to support the USB 3.0 speeds. Now I have it in a different part so it will end up showing as a different part in here but I'll just go and change that over now. And there we go I've now plugged it in with my new cable and as you can see now on part 16 if I look at this and then come on to summary, if we look at the USB version, it is now 3.0, so this should now work in the 4K capture utility. So if we close the 4K capture utility down, and then we open it back up again, as you can see it successfully is able to get the video and audio feed, and if we come into settings, we now have the settings that we should be able to access. Now if you're wondering what cable I am using, this is the cable that I am using. It is probably over spec for what is needed as it should only need to be 5 gigabits per second and this is 10 gigabits per second. Now if you're looking at another option that is a little cheaper, a cable such as this should also work as it does have the 5 gigabits per second and speed that is needed for the Elgato HD60S Plus and I believe for the newer models as well. So guys, hopefully that's worked for you. If you like the video, don't forget the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for content like this, and I'll see you another time. Bye.